Hi cello players, it's Miss Slaminski with a video for you on the William Tell Overture. I'll be playing the Richard Meyer arrangement and um, just point out a few things before we get going with this one. As I've been playing on this particular cello, I've realized that I need to really find the sweet spot um, for the times when I want to be playing loud and the sweet spot for when I want to play soft. Some cellos kind of honk out a little bit and just, it makes an unpleasant sound when you're trying to be loud. Um, I've noticed for me, it tends to be when I am in my normal sweet spot, like if I was just playing mezzo forte, medium loud, I can be fairly close to my fingerboard. However, if I wanna be really loud, I've discovered I need to uh, move a little closer to my bridge, slow my bow down a little bit, and that's my way that I can be nice and loud. Okay, so you might need to play around with um, where on your instrument you can get your best sounds for forte and for piano. So a few things in our music to see. We are starting off loud. This F stands for forte, to be loud. We have a really fun pattern right here. It's like an arpeggio, if you know what that is. And it's a finger pattern that's kind of pulling out the most important notes from a scale. So you want to know that part because it comes up fairly fast. Um, some contrast between our forte and piano here at 11. We'll see a lot more contrasts throughout the piece. Also, we've got five different times where we're going to repeat a small section of the song. It's usually about a line and a half or almost two lines. So just to be prepared for those, you might want to highlight them or something, make them big so that you don't forget them. At the beginning of our song, we start off with four measures of rest. Let me play, play. When I get to measure 18, I'm repeating back to measure 11. And then when I get to this time, the second time, I'm jumping to measure, uh, what is it, 19, to the next line, the second ending here. So again, happens right here, okay. When we get to measure 30, we are gonna be doing a really, we call it exposed pizzicato part. It will be very heard. So you wanna be prepared for that. Very quick switch from your arco position into pizzicato. You won't have time to lay your bow down, so just do the thing where you wrap your bow up in your hand like this. Um, and also notice we're using F sharp, three fingers, and also C natural two fingers in this pattern, just to notice that. Wonderful. Moving back to Arco at measure 37. I copied music a little off, so handwritten part here. Second page, again, some repeated parts. The first one is very loud. Um, you know, that seems like the most of the stuff to be noticing. At the very end, your last line of music is gonna have a very quick moving back and forth between open G, open D, and it's going to be progressively getting louder for a very big ending. So, um, sometimes we do have some very fast string switching, string crossing, so be prepared for those as well. Bow lifts are both dramatic and also help you have strength for um, big loud sound too. So here is William Tell Overture for cello from the beginning.
note a little extra long because of the fermata symbol at the end. Let me show you. That's right on top of the note right here. And so if you are playing with a group and with a conductor, watch for the conductor's cue to stop at the end. And if you're practicing on your own, you get to decide how long you hold at that note. At least an extra four counts, doubling its length. Thanks again for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed playing and listening to William Tell Overture.